All right, kind of giving this high definition camera a test. Um, it's kind of a nice camera. Kodak, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> Kodak uh, ZI6. Yeah, well, I got a cheap broken little, little problem. So I got my little underwater camera in the stream here. But this used to be a spot I used to hang out when I was a kid. I used to come down here all the time, the stream in the summer, spent a lot of time. It used to be really kind of out of the way. And over here, all these weeds over here used to be a used to be a complete pond here. They used to dredge it actually every 10 years or so, clean it out. And uh, so it was kind of an interesting spot. Um, I mean, yeah, it's nice as a stream too, but I mean, it was kind of nice as a pond. Uh, it certainly held more fish. So anyway, yeah, there were some fish here. It would have been very nice, but they're now afraid. <laughs> and so they ran away when I put the camera in there. So that's kind of a bummer. So I'll have to go scare them back into view. So anyway, I um, thought I'd make a video. Um, yeah, this rock, yeah, I wanted to just point out, see it's a rock. It's just a rock, of course, but yeah, it was just so much bigger when we were kids. <laughs> you know, this whole place was so much bigger. Uh, this camera's sort of annoying. I have to hold it like far, far, far away, which is kind of awkward and uncomfortable. Um, so I'm gonna try to put another lens on it. Anyway, um, what did I wanna get to? Um, yeah, well, I probably should walk around so I can scare some fish over here. Um, so sorry about that. Ugh. Uh, pyro. Yeah, <laughs> he made a ton of videos. I don't know what's going on in his life right now, but it's sort of interesting. He is making a lot of videos. Um, in the mood to talk. Which I am always in the mood to do also. You know, I really, I, I really could do this, you know, all day. <laughs> you know, I really... I, uh, you know, arguing, I, you know, I don't like arguing, but I do. I mean, I like talking about things, you know, trying to get to, to some place where we can understand them and convey understanding. I guess part of it is, is that, yeah, I'm sort of in a panic because I think the, the world's going to hell and all that crap. And, uh, you know, I don't, it scares me how how people have defended and justified. And that's sort of what, I gotta really watch where I'm walking here, but who knows what the hell's living in here. Um, that's what bugs me about Pyro, is that he, it seems quite obvious that he's just forming, um, you know, uh, a happy narrative for life. And that's part of this quantum mechanics stuff. He wants to leave all kinds of openings for, you know, all kinds of mush. Yeah, well, that didn't work too well. Huh. Yeah, I guess they're all underneath this rock now. So maybe I should put the camera under the rock or something. Try to do that. Oh, I inadvertently have, oh, there it is, string. Um, anyway, uh, so where, what's the point I want to get to? Yeah, I won't make this video too long because it's high definition, so I want to try uploading it to a test. Uh, you know, raw, just upload it the way it is, like a gigabyte or whatever. See how long that takes. Um, so where was I going with this? I know I had a point. Oh, yeah, py yeah pyro. <laughs> yeah, this lens. Well, anyway, um, yeah, yeah, so he's just playing this game with this quantum mechanics stuff. Yeah, obviously, you can, there's all kinds of math that'll point, they'll do things that'll work 99% of the time and then 10% or 1% of the time yeah, it's going to have a catch to it because the real world won't work like the math works. And I think the same is true of quantum physics and it's certainly explicitly true in the sense that, um, you know, uh, describing how something works is not the same as predicting what it will do. And quantum mechanics is good at predicting. It's not even good at it, but you know what I'm saying, it's better than nothing. Um, but it ain't so good at describing the actual mechanism, and that's the important part here. You know, Pyro is, is projecting backwards. He's saying because it got the answer right, you know, it clomped its foot four times, that it understood how to multiply, I mean, to add two and plus two. And maybe that's not what it's doing. Um, and so to me, it's just sort of a huge cheat. Uh, you, you could... 
this is yet to be defined. It's a it's an undiscovered uh, universe. Um, the this 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 world we're talking about. This these tiny particles, how energy works, how it's transmitted, and uh, we really don't have a clear diagram yet. And I guess I'm gonna I'll start another channel where I'll put these kind of draft science kind of videos. Um, because I like talking about it, but yeah, it's it just gets it's it's just too much of a distraction and uh, it should be done in isolation so just you can't do philosophy and um, this kind of stuff in the same context it's just too sloppy and that's pyro's mixing things that really don't that shouldn't be mixed the quantum doesn't have anything to do with human psychology it doesn't have anything to do with this camera functioning uh, it's just a pile of shit. The, the, the fact that you can use quantum math to um, describe, um, uh, to map, um, to model uh, a uh, theoretical possibility of function doesn't mean that it has anything to do with, um, you know, any kind of, any kind of that this presumption of randomness or spontaneity has anything to do with this reality. There's no evidence, there's no proof, there's no demonstrated in anything of this randomness stuff. Um, it's all theoretical and it's all, um, I would argue, mathematical um, in precision. And that's it. There's no further conversation needed on the subject. We can talk about free will without dragging into the subject the complete irrelevancy of whether or not, um, uh, I don't even know what to say because even, even quantum mechanics concedes the probability. And once you've confined the randomness to a, a, a probability that doesn't have any capacity to escape you know, it can't go someplace completely bizarre. I mean, you can't, you can't just say, well, there's a theoretic possibility that every photon in the universe turns left at the same time. Well, no, I mean, there's a theoretical possibility, but there's no practical possibility. It won't happen in a zillion, trazillion universes. So you can't use it as an excuse to say there's some chance that you're perceptions or your beliefs or your understanding or the mechanics of your brain have somehow been influenced by something that has a zillion to one possibility. I mean, that's just idiotic to do that. So fuck, <laughs> fuck that conversation. Um, yeah, it just it is a waste of time to try to mix these things. This, uh, the science is immature. All right. Um, but the science of philosophy, the science of understanding where we came from, how we got here, what our brain is, what consciousness is even, that conversation can take place. We don't need to understand the exact dynamics of energy transfer to be able to talk about, um, you know, how a peach rots. <laughs> you know, just they're not the same thing. So anyway. That's enough of a video because I don't want to go over time. Because then I'd have to edit this damn thing and I want to, I don't want to even touch it. I just upload it and see what happens. So anyway, the uh, test is now complete. Sorry, kind of a disjointed video, but it's a very nice location. It really is pleasant here.